One Piece episode 756 review. Now, let's talk about this week's episode of One Piece. The episode was good. It wasn't amazing, but it was good. The animation was good. It wasn't anything spectacular, but it was good. It was what I would expect it from the weekly series that is popular at One Piece. Wasn't bad, wasn't, wasn't too good, but it was just good enough. And that is all I ask. I'm not asking for them to be spectacular and do an amazing job. I just want good quality content. That's it. So I'm very pleased with that. The paid thing was... Okay, the thing is, they're doing something with the work that I really, really like. Instead of dragging stuff out... They're, like, making it work. Like, this, the pacing they're using in the anime is working. I'm not particularly sure how many chapters they covered. I think it only covered one chapter, but it worked. Like, it wasn't, like, dragging out and boring. There was a lot of dialogue. And that they made it work somehow. And I'm very happy with that. Because a big complaint about the Dressrosa arc was that there was a lot of parts that were dragged out. And what a lot of people always said is, I don't mind being things being dragged out, but they need to be good when they're dragged out. If they're dragged out and they're shit, that is a problem. That kind of common sense. But if they're dragged out and they're still just as good, then it isn't a problem. And this was a little, it was dragged out, of course, with one chapter an episode. It worked, though, and I, I enjoyed it. Um, the Straw Hat Pirate versus the Big Mom Pirate, that was great to see animated. That was really, really nice to see animated. And I don't remember if Brooke hugged, hugged Luffy in the manga. I like how they did that. The same Brooke hugged Luffy kind of left in the, the, the romantic implication people have with Nami hugging him. Like, people think there's some romantic like thing there. I can see it. I made you a video on whether or not romance will actually become a thing in One Piece. I did one a couple of months ago, but that was before Bizarre Arc. So I may actually go back and do that. And my glasses are creating a glare. I'm really sorry about that. With my computer screen, I'll uh, take that off for now. But yeah, but... I mean, it's a good episode. I would definitely recommend it. But one flaw I have with it... it this is honestly a personal gripe of mine. I really don't like the way they made the dog mink out to be like the mythic creature and wanted to attack Rook. That thing was pointless. I would, I do, I'm 99% sure the manga just showed Brooke with them jumping on him and chewing on him. In this, they, it was going to be funny, like they're like, oh, the dogs are evil, they're enemies. And they turn out to be a friendly dog that's going to lick and bite on Brooke. And I didn't find it funny. We get to learn about Inu, Inu Arashi. In Inu Arashi. God damn it. I'm going to need to say his name again. I stuck that in the manga. And I'm going to stuck at it here. Inu Arashi. Inu Arashi. Shit. I don't think any of this out. Because I made the same mistake in the manga. But Inu Arashi. Or the Duke. And we learned that neck of the Mushi. Well, we didn't learn Inu Arashi's Inu, Inu name yet. Uh, you won't even probably know. That's not even a spoiler unless you know but what Inu means in Japanese. Which, if you do, well, you do. But, so yeah, we learn about them. We learn how Inu Arashi and neck of, and neck of the Mushi split the job of the ruling the country between night and day. So, yeah, that's really interesting. We're going we're gonna to get to see Nekamamushi next episode, which is great. We have Nekamamushi and Inarashi are some pretty badass characters. But there is one thing I will say about this episode that I didn't like, and I had to wish the anime would fix it. And it didn't, but whatever. But I will admit, I had a problem with this in the manga as well. And there's a warning to you anime-only watcher. They are going to jump around the Sanji question for a bit. Now, I don't mind when we have, like, multiple plot threads that take forever to be answered, but when it's, like, when the big reveal we're waiting for is a conversation that the characters are just putting off just because they don't give a shit, it's kind of annoying. Like, like... 
the whole reason that we don't have the reveal yet is because characters don't seem to give enough, the only character that seems to give enough of a shit to have the conversation that we need to have to get the information is Nami. Only one of them wants to have the conversation, and it's pissing me off. It's pissing me off in the manga, too, but it's like, Nami, not, it's like, thank you, Nami! Thank you! Ah, oh, just, thank you so God damn much, Nami. I'm sorry, but Jesus Christ. It's so stupid. It's like, okay, we get it. They, they even talk about like they had some of the conversation. And they talk about like they had some of it, which that blows me away even more. It's like, why would they have some of the conversation? If they mentioned a no stand, you there were clearly conversations that they had that were just skipped. But. It was also clearly missing part of it, and it just is really stupid. The conversation, I can tell you as a manga reader, is it really a spoiler? It could happen, right? It could have happened in this episode. As a manga reader, I can tell you, the conversation does not need to wait. The only reason we're waiting on this is actually there isn't a reason besides, less, besides trolling and building up defense. But there already was defense at the end of last week's episode. There was no reason, and it just... I don't, I don't like that here, and I didn't like it in the manga. You can hate me all you want for not liking that about... for not liking that about Odo's writing style, but I don't. It's just... I get it. Sometimes you want to make a waste for thing, but making, but making a waste for thing, and then talking about what you're making a waste for constantly throughout the chapter or episode. It just it pisses me off. It really, really fucking pisses me off. But besides for that, which is a per which is which is a personal gripe, right? most of you probably don't care. Honestly, it's always a good episode. Of course, we have like a three minutes of recap. Which is we have like three minute intro but we intro too long by the way. That new like that new opening scene it tells tells you like a brief synopsis of the story. It's way too goddamn long. How it goes over each and each individual straw hat. No more of that. Please cut out the Luffy, Zoro, and when they're all doing their stupid poses, like I mean, like and they're all like and they're like I'm like fuck that bullshit, and it was all like. Fuck that bullshit. Get rid of it. We don't need it. I mean, there is. There is no need for that. I mean, I'm fine with the whole, like, Gold Roger, the man who came, became the Pirate King, found on the one piece, conquered the Grand Line. This is the story of the man who ate the gun gun fruit monkey dealer. Fine. Do all that. But you don't need to introduce each character. The names of the characters are said during the episode. Nami is addressed the girl with orange hair and big tits. It's addressed as Nami. So her name is Nami. The woman with black hair and big tits is addressed as Robin. So her name is Robin. The man with the straw hat is addressed as Luffy. So his name is Luffy. The guy with the blue hair is addressed as Frankie. So his name is Frankie. You can figure this shit out on your own. Tell me, we don't need you explaining to us what the names of the characters are. Because we can just watch the goddamn episode. And if you really feel the need to like make help, help us make the connection, you can even that like one next well, you can have them offhandedly mention Sanji and be like, what happened to Sanji? And then one of them could picture Sanji in their head. Problem solved. We've seen every straw hat they address. I I don't like that. But yeah, I mean, I I I'm new to this whole reviewing thing that I've already seen thing. Like I'm new to reviewing actual anime episodes of manga chapters, not something I normally do. So I think review is a little iffy. You gotta understand, I still need to get into the swing of things. I've never reviewed an anime episode of something I've already seen before. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing this weekly though, so I'm gonna get used to it, figure out how I wanna do it, how I wanna structure the reviews. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, please leave it a like. Sub subscribe for more videos. Now I'm going to be doing these every week. So if you're an anime only watcher, you'll get to see these. But if you're a manga reader and you just want to know whether or not the episode was worth watching, you can come here and I will tell you, yes, next week's episode was worth watching. So check it out. Uh, also, if you're a manga reader, you know a lot of great stuff is coming up.
So you definitely want to know if the episode is handled properly, so you can watch it yourself. Now, I'm going to make a quick update on the uh, visual situation. I plan on getting a webcam soon, an HD one. I don't have, I'm, th I'm 16 years old. I don't have a lot of money, so I can't just go out and buy shit. But I can go out, I can try to get myself a cheap HD webcam. I'm probably going to do that on Monday or Tuesday this week. Just go out, get myself a, some kind of decent webcam. Not something expensive, but something to up the quality. So, if you're looking at the channel for the first time, and you're like, Oh God, what a shitty video. Know that at some point this week, I'm probably going to go out and get some kind of webcam. Because the quality is so bad. I mean, you can like, you can see like blurred lines. If I, when I move my hand like this, you can see like blurred lines. And yeah. But guys, I hope you enjoyed my review of this chapter. I mean, episode. It's the episode review. I'm new to this. So forgive me. Uh, my Dragon Ball Super review should be out at some point tomorrow. Hopefully early. De depends on when the Kiss Anime subs come out and how it works with my schedule. I watch it on Kiss Anime. If the subs aren't out by a certain point, all I could be busy doing something else when they come out. Because I honestly don't know. And because I, uh, I have school work to do, I have my week homework I got for school, and yeah. Long story short, that review will be out at some point. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Your One Point Nation, signing out.